Christianity is about sonship. Hmm. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. And what matters is about what drives you hmm. and where you derive your source of inspiration from. Yes, sir. There are many sources. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. But once you get it outside of the Holy Spirit, then you are not a son of God. Hmm. When you get it outside yes, the Holy sir. Spirit. That's why there are so many magicians even in the so-called churches. I agree with you, sir. Yes, sir. Magic has been in existence even before now. And because people, they lack the capacity to get to the level of Christ. You see, it takes a lot, mm. my brother, to actually assess God. These people cannot assess God. The highest they can do is to assess fallen angels and use familiar spirits, mm. which is prevalent everywhere. You carry somebody up. Smashing on a chair and calling deliverance. That's what are you that's delivering? That's what that's are that's you that's delivering that's the person from? The evil? Because there's even the difference between deliverance and freedom. Oh, there's also different. Deliverance is only external, sir. Freedom is internal. And the Bible makes us to believe that there's something you should be very careful in doing is deliverance. Because even when you succeed in driving one spirit out, and that house is still empty, he will go and recruit. Forces and, um, and power that are seven times more powerful than the, the previous one. Mm. And the life of that person will be worse than the former. Mm. Whenever you, you do a thing that is contrary to what the Bible spells out, and you know there is no degree in sin, you are even worse than an adulterer. Because mm. the Bible says sin is sin. Yes, sir. You that is abusing prostitute, you that is condemning arm robber, but you are taking somebody to court and you're a pastor. Then you are the same. Mm. The same law, love my judge. There's no difference. Parenting is very important, sir. I agree with you. If you like, go to Harvard University. Go to Susa University. If you don't have home training, I yole, there will be something to show. Mm. Yes, sir. It's not a substitute. If they like, let them put 30 something bottle of, of anointing, anointing upon your life. If you don't have home training, Ja, the deficiency will be wide. Mm. My mother, late mother, taught me I go far long wuki. If I can only see para, banu so ma bini yoso. They don't load and borrow reje forty little geto geje. In your bubu ruko bi bi ni one jojo lo. Ento da. They taught me home training. This is a fundamental that philosophy. It was enough for me to go around life. I I won't steal. There are some things I won't do. You you understand? Because if if you see. The, the thing have been imputed into my consciousness. Look at this book now. You know, it says something. That's the book 
my power should tell you. I want to read something out here. I want yeah. to ask you the question. He said, my church is aware I'm a member of Ubuni confraternity. That is Ogun from a 75-year-old Remo chief. Because there's something you said last year during the interview about the power of Shun, Ubun, Shun, and all that, how it went to the sky to get power. And people are trying to ask that. And this power, traditional power, or power that is given by the Spirit of God for by the Holy Spirit. But look at this story now. He said, the above was the caption of a report by Lake Ombile Sommi in the Vanguard newspaper of Sunday, October 11, 2015. Otuba Joseph Adedai Ogunfuwa, the Babalaji of Remolan, celebrated the 75th birthday. President Saudi, in an interview shortly after the birthday lecture, Ogunfuwa said he's a devoted Christian, a member of the Anglican Communion, and a strong member of the Reformed Ubuni Fraternity. This is a claim his church is aware of. Now, the truth is that you are asking questions. They were asking questions. And uh, they, they said, being the Babalaji of Remolan, what are the factors that shaped you or make you who you are today? He said, I don't know why they conferred the title of Babalaji on me, because I told them I didn't want it. Babalaji is given to people who are rich. I'm not. Okay, they now said, so when you die, how do you want to be buried? Oh. He now said, I said, I've given my children instruction on what to do when I die. Not only that, I constantly openly said it. Nobody should say after my death that I renounce any of the fraternities I belong to. I'm a Christian of Anglican Communion. When I die, my fraternities members should come in their full regalia, and if the church will not permit that, let the fraternity, let the fraternity bury me. Yeah. That is what he said. This is a big story, yeah. but that's what Chief Otumba Joseph Adedayo Ogufuwa, who is a member a member of the Anglican Communion and Babalaji of Remoland and a member of RUF. He oh. was saying that when he died, his Ubuni people should be allowed to come and bury him and that if the church will not allow it, they should just hand over his body to them. Oh. Does this have anything to do with Christianity? I mean, it's on page 452 of the book, Christianity Inside Story of uh, from an African Perspective. Sir, this question is very important, hmm. highly symbolic. I I will say this, sir. It's just about asking that who is a Christian? Who is a Christian? Who is a Christian? This man here, hmm. on his own, has openly confessed where his own heart is. Hmm. And without anybody even asking the question for him, he had that information that the church will not agree. Yes. Already is suggesting that there will be friction. Hmm. And ordinarily, there should have been friction if they have the same uh, faith system, or the same thing. belief system hmm. within him. Yes, sir. He has agreed that there will be friction because they don't have the same value system, they don't have the same belief system. That is not Christianity, sir. Are you getting it, sir? Because honestly speaking, you see, Christianity, the Bible, I don't like the way the Bible defines issues. Okay, sir. Hmm. You say, who is a child? You are born again. Yes, who sir. is a son? Say, those who are led. Those who are led. By the Spirit. They are hmm. the son of God. It's so simple. Hmm. Those who are led by the Spirit. But they are the sons. Different between a child and a son. So Christianity is about sonship. Hmm. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. And what matters is about what drives you hmm. and where you derive your source of inspiration from. Yes, sir. There are many sources. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. But once you get it outside of the Holy Spirit, then you are not a son of God. Hmm. When you get it outside yes, of the Holy Spirit. That's why there are so many magicians even in the so-called churches. I agree with you, sir. You see, because you see what they are doing, there are powers and there are powers. You can say everything about Lucifer, but do ever say he's not powerful. So you can also get power somewhere different from, from the Holy Spirit. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. And whenever such powers are on display, obviously you will see what is happening. There will be order. There will be modesty. There will be decency. There will be absurdity and all of that. Because 
whichever spirit you yield yourself to, you have become a slave. So that's to the extent that it can move you in a manner you never even like. That's why you could see some of them spraying money. You know, as if they like it. But that's why that stupid spirit say they should do. Mm. Oh, girl. What Jesus okay, Christ would not have even contemplated. Would Jesus okay, have done that? No, sir. Would P Peter and Paul have done that? No, sir. Those are strange spirits that push them to behave strangely. They start throwing money. It's not like practice. somebody that has been infected with the spirit of madness. No, the spirit is in control. So there are some spirits, plenty. Somebody told Jesus Christ that my name is Legion. You can imagine how many spirits there was in her. Can you imagine? So is there it, are spirits. There are spirits and there are spirits. And there are spirits. Legion. Are, are you getting this, sir? So some of these things, the fraternity here and there, you will know that this has nothing to do with the Holy Spirit. Before Jesus Christ came, people were doing miracles now. Yes, sir. And even when the, the disciples were doing their own, others were also doing their own somewhere. Even the story of bad Jesus. Even look at even Moses. Yes. When he got to Egypt, oh, you are bad, oh, you are not. Oh, my. So, we were worried on you. You understand? Yes, sir. Magic has been in existence even before now. And because people, they lack the capacity to get to the level of Christ. You see, it takes a lot, mm. my brother, to actually assess God. These people cannot assess God. The highest they can do is to assess fallen angels and use familiar spirits, mm. which is prevalent everywhere. You see, God is not as cheap as we think he's cheap. Mm. Assessing him, fellowshipping with him, requires a lot of sacrifices. And since they cannot pay the price, sir, let me tell you this thing. Mm. Nothing is free in the kingdom of God. Nothing. Not even salvation. Because it's called Jesus Christ's life. That's why you look at that Matthew 5. Whatever you want in the kingdom of God, there is a price to pay for it. Mm. Say the meek will inherit the heart. This one. It's just like somebody praying for mercy. Oh, you do have one. I get it. He said, when you don't show mercy, you will receive mercy. That is why there, there are places in the Bible when I read them, one of them is that uh, is that is that Galatians 7. Only God is no more, only whatsoever a man soweth. Kingdom of God is about sowing and reaping. There are more to even pay for than praying for. Mm. So if you want power, there is a protocol. But we are not ready to pay the price. So you don't look back and there are so many price and uh, power somewhere, you just grab it. <laughs> you saw what happened to Judas now? Yes, sir. In that look, uh, 22 2, Bible say, and Satan entered into Judas. Just like that. Oh, there did they. Because number one, whatever enters your heart will drive your life. And spirit does not stay in the head. It's like a sneaky wine. It goes to your, it, 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 it does not stay in your stomach. It goes to your head mm. and come back to your heart and begin to drive your life. Okay. That's why when you see them doing that nonsense, all those atrocities, they are not capable of deciding. They have lost the capacity for self-determination. Mm. That is, is detecting to them. Follow that like and you follow. Go and kiss a person and you can't say no. That is the problem. So there's so, there already conflict here. If the man is still alive and he has anticipated conflict, well, you know they are not the same. Because they have different inspiration. And they have different philosophy. Hmm. Can you imagine? You say my church is away. I'm a member of Ugoni Confraternity. Yes, sir. Ugufu has said, "Why we are old Remo chief?" Hmm. Then they are asking, "What is his philosophy of life?" He said, "Do my best in all circumstances for everybody and without doing wrong to anybody." Hmm. But look at it now. He said it's going that if they are not going to allow him, hmm. the church to bury him, they should allow his members to come in and take the dead body and do anything they want to do with it. You can imagine. What a colony. You know, some mm. of these people, you see, they have gone beyond the level of repentance. Mm. I'm sorry to say this. Mm. When Shokai was going, he told his father, say, those who gave to me, I didn't lose any of them. Mm. Apart from sons of perdition. Because how will Shokai have saved the, have saved the Judas? Mm. He has chosen his path. Even Shokai did not, he did not save his cousin, John the Baptist. Can you imagine? Because he's not a lawyer at all. Yes, sir. He's not a lawyer for every human being, for every organization, there are designed objectives. 
the objective of the church is well defined. And it's, it's not about those nonsense we are displaying everywhere. It's different. One of the major objectives of the church is to ensure that it link you to God, you know God, and in the process you are able to know yourself. Because mm. one of the greatest uh, crises in life is for you not to even know who you are. Mm. The greatest crisis indeed. I'm telling you, sir. For you not to give a definition of yourself. You don't even know yourself. Mm. And if you gather 1,000 church members today, they cannot tell you exactly who they are. I mean, the church give them program from Monday to Sunday. The program that does not they, they they their, life. their life. They have to come to uh, the, the video almost three or four times before the week runs out. They have to run into the church early in the morning. A lot of catastrophic, emotional catastrophic programs. I saw, as long as I see some women, they will run with their children in the morning to redeem children of God parish, and they are doing early morning prayer. After that prayer, they now run their children to the school. Are you not a student of the Bible? Yes, it was not the same thing matter was trying to impress God, yes, Jesus Christ. Sir. Yeah, you can't impress a God. And Joker called mm. and say, Matter, matter. Why do you get combat about too many things? Say one thing is needful, and Mary, your sister, has taken it. But matter was trying to serve uh, Jesus Christ. So I want to impress Jesus Christ. But Jesus Christ does not reward him in impressions. That's what we are seeing. Mm. We are busy doing nothing. Activities that will not matter mm. for the kingdom. Activities that cannot save the the the, the unregenerated heart. Mm. Those are the those are the things we are we are we are, we are, we are about that have occupied our time. Before we go to the issue of court cases and yes, men sir. of God, recently you look at men of God, even when Jesus said we should not take ourselves to court or that we should allow things to be settled among the brethren, you see a lot of fraudulent, terrible minded pastors, Jews, mm. who are fraudulent in their nature, but unfortunately have been able to create empires for themselves. Mm. They keep spending the money of the church to take people to court. But oh. now, I want to ask about this. In First Timothy from three, First Timothy three from verse one to six, he said, "Qualification for overseers." Mm. He said the saying is trustworthy. If anyone has to the office of overseer, mm. he desires a noble task. Mm. Therefore, an overseer must be above reproach, mm. the husband of one wife, mm. sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent, but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. Yeah. He must manage his own household well, with all dignity, keeping his children submissive, for if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? He must not be a recent convert, or he may become puffed up with conceits and fall into the condemnation of the devil. Now, somebody like this character called John Suleiman, mm. Just last week, he decided to sue Morning Body Job to court in London. Yeah. A lot of secrets has come out about Johnny Suleiman that the whole world knows that he's a critically disoriented shepherd. Yeah. He's somebody, a, a person who has been associated with several sex scandal, several 419 behavior. I mean, if a man of God can come out there, somebody bought him a wristwatch of $250,000 yeah. at an airport. And that when the person bought it for him, he allowed the person to walk away. He now came out from the plane and told the sales girl to take the wristwatch, wire two hundred forty thousand dollars to his account in Nigeria, and take ten thousand dollars. Imagine that case must be senile. Mm. When a pastor can come out and said one of his members was in Germany and he wanted that member to come to France or something, and the person said, "Daddy, I don't have papers," and he said the person just go to the airport, go. That when the person was on the queue. He was pressed. He entered the toilet to press to urinate. By the time he opened the another door, he met himself at the airport in France without entering a, a, a plane. When a man of God come out and tell some lies, I've forgotten another one he said recently, and people under those shady anointing will be shouting and we say, Papa, Papa, Papa. Somebody, this same man of God went to Atlanta and said the Holy Spirit minister to his, him 
and that money is that old, uh, angels are putting money in people's accounts <laughs> and there were a lot of drama i mean and you wonder and one of the camera even zoom the name of one of the angels hmm. daniel simeon or something like that hmm. then the bank they used was fcmb wow and uh, there are a lot of other lies that i'm trying to remember now lies that uh, he said somebody in his uh, in his child wanted to date a girl and the person was begging the girl with one million, two million, three million, that the, 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 the guy now even opted to 500 million, that the guy even bought two Gs for two people in his church mm. to seduce the girl. The girl didn't agree. That later the person has said, God save you. My father is a Habali, Sozo place, wanted to die, and we're using, when we did our whatever, it was you that we saw the glory on. Mm. And you imagine how can somebody is chasing a girl and give two people your church Jeep? Mm. And all these things, John Sullivan cannot come out and point it out. Mm. Now, the same character, because Maureen Badejo brought Stephanie Otobo back to come and tell the whole world how he kidnapped her mother then to make her to come and denounce what she said about him, that he impregnated her and he gave her poison. Hmm. And Stephanie came with new secrets. He went, used her car, brought down the videos. He has brought more than 20 videos of that uh, journalist activist down. Hmm. And yet he still had the guts to take her to court. Hmm. Until yesterday that we thank God that a lot of serious-minded Christians around the world are now saying, we will foot the bill for the legal case. Hmm. Now, when the Bible said that a general overseer should not be somebody of ill temper, hmm. and you hear a person like this character called Suleiman saying that I can make you disappear. Hmm. Even his pastor came out, Pastor Davis, and said, He snatched my wife. Hmm. He posted me out of our church to Oshun State and made my wife his PA. Then, when the marriage Dabarud, he gave the same woman a big church in Abuja. Hmm. And you ask yourself, does this kind of character supposed to stay? And before you say anything, he's organizing revival in the, in America. He's crossing to South Africa, he's another revival. He's crossing to Ghana. And you, you wonder, he's carrying a microphone, he says he's giving prophecy. Hmm. So how does we, that, we actually thank God for Pentecostalism. Well, honestly speaking, Pentecostalism. Are you not sad, sir? Hmm. I'm totally sad. Me, I'm, I'm still coming, sir. Okay, for Pentecostalism has actually come with a lot of things that have destroyed the society. And I cannot believe that I am terribly sad. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because number one, aside, let me tell you, the gospel of Jesus Christ is dispensational. It is not even about what the Spirit of God did for Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego. G.O.s and pastor, we are supposed to be the mirror. Don't preach to me about Sadrach. I can read it. Let your life be my teacher. Mm. You, you, you understand? Yes, sir. We are not supposed to be. They said there was no Bible. And you see, it was the conduct of men that were the major guide for generations. Mm. I, 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 are you getting it? Yes, sir. So it is not about you carrying Bible and say, it's also happens to Sandra, Mr. Abednego. What about your life? It was the life of people in those generations that we are reading. When you go, what do we say about you? Mm. So it is not about what you are preaching. What are you manifesting? Are and you... I said this, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Because you just can say, be followers of me. He said, who among you want to be my disciple? Say so one, deny yourself, mm. carry your cross, and follow me. But what is Christianity? If not Christ's life, being able to demonstrate mm. the life of Christ. Mm. But are we seeing it in our leaders? So called leaders. I'm doing this, sir. Are you getting it, sir? Yes, sir. So it's so sad. Mm. Mm. When Paul said, be an imitator of me. Yes, sir. In reality, how many church members can really in their in their secret room say, God, let apart from their money, and say, I want to be they can, they might want to be rich like them, but yes, they don't sir. want to live their life because hmm. they know what they are doing. Hmm. In a situation where pastor no longer operate on biblical ethics, hmm. it's about personal yes, sir. doctrine. Yes, sir. That is the crisis we have. You just do whatever you feel like doing. Mm. Even when it's not backed by the word of God. Yes, sir. 
But who can check you? Because emperor does no wrong. Yes. Even when they have board of trustee and they have elders in the church, elders cannot talk to them. All these things cannot happen in equa in Baptist and other organized uh, churches. Hmm. You see, but they have got to a level that no one asks them question and nobody they are query them. Hmm. That is the level we have they, got to. They, they are now. Yes, sir. They feel that they are untouchable. They are. They know it. Not even feeling. They know it. Who will touch them? Who will touch them? And you see, I, 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 I see, I see, get worried. There's so much deception. A person will come and preach to you now that uh, unless uh, God build the house or guide the house, but he's packing about 20 mobile policemen. They have more than three, they have more than three, five pickup <laughs> to guide his car. Yeah, but he's preaching. I say, no, I know a pastor, major, a very big pastor in Guara. I went to preach and honestly speaking, preaching to people where they more rely on prayer and others. And told the I mean, church member not to use drug. They don't use drug. They don't use drug. Yes, sir. Yeah. But immediately you finish that revival. Which one go jabble and eh? What pay your pastor? Eh, pastor Roland. Ogumida, Ogumida, Ogumida. Ogumida, Ogumida. Hell. Alone, alone. Meanwhile, it, 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 it was forbidden for members to take the most half it. Hell, alone. Until you die. This is annoying, sir. This is the sadness. What is wrong in telling people? Ogumida, Ogumida. Sir. <laughs> El Logum. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. But this thing you call faith. Hello. It is not the day you know Christ that your faith will rise to sky. I know, sir. It's a gradual process to a level You forbid whoever takes drug or medication becomes an outcast. And you, the pastor, you are taking drug. Sir, I take medication. You want to... What, what they teach is different from their own way of life. That's called grand, grand, grand hypocrisy. That's what I'm saying. That's the level we have got into. To the extent that, as a member of a particular church, there are things that happen to them, they begin to think they be sin, all of that. When a pastor will come and tell a congregation that I have never been depressed, in the light, say, how can you ever say you have not been depressed? Are you not a human being? There's a capacity within you for that depression to overcome you. Yes. So if you get depressed at a point, you begin to say, ha, no, I me the Maybe you have committed so much crime. Hmm. When a Jew of a very popular child will tell you, spend one hour with my wife doing what? Are you getting it? So indirectly, it is implied. As if maybe stay with your wife is a crime. Yes. Um, and some of these things are not right. And when you begin to see church members misbehave, I used to attend a particular church about 18 years ago. I left there. When you begin, my salary then was just 18,000 in a month. Hmm. And they said the, we had a group, see the ages or whatever, we'll be paying 90,000 every year in Christ Embassy. I don't even know what my brother. I'm not going to sell it. They be paying ninety thousand. Ninety thousand. Then about twenty years ago. Oh, that's a lot. Heaven, heaven, or something like that. My salary was eighty thousand. Was it not the time a guy in Sheraton yeah. stole money? So, so generation. That was the time. A big generation. Yes, sir. I went to give to the yes, store, sir. And this guy was living in a room. That, that's something you don't teach people. That's something you don't. You don't begin to entrench. Even people will misbehave and begin to wonder the source of their misbehavior. It's directly from the church unnecessary pressure. You can imagine if I wanted to please somebody, my mass on 80,000, when my salary was just 18,000. Can you imagine? 90,000 every year. Yes, now sir. you have to pay 99,000 in 10 months or something like that. That is individually. You have to bring 90,000. 90, 90,000 every year. There's a, that's what Mrs. Uh, that lady from London. The salary me by a year. Tony Rigbo also told us that in their group, they have to contribute a lot of money to give to uh, no, not even so they had to give to Oya Kilome during his birthday oh, that when she was in the church oh. be, before the ministry pushed her from that church to uh, Ulukoya, Dick Ulukoya's own uh, uh, 
a mountain of no mountain of uh, fire and miracle and all that, and down to Adelaide Church, where she was now heavily duped oh. in Ukraine before she now became someone that's not going to church again. Now frustrated and drilled and almost psychologically tormented, you know. But you ask yourself, how did the church get into this level? How did this man of God, supposed to be ordained, supposed to be proclaimed? Now became the devil and rookie. Sir, do you know that in reality, some of them actually started well? Mm. They started well, sir. For example, I, I used to attend the uh, uh, Christ Embassy at the point when that guy was a good teacher. But at a point, I don't know what happened. He was just got interested in it. And that was all led him to synagogue. Yeah, TV Joshua, yes. I remember. So unnecessary. I do you know then, I was in the week magazine, and I had to share Rhapsody. Of reality. Of reality. Passionately. Okay. When he went to synagogue, many of them returned the Rhapsody and gave it back to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, are you getting this? It has gone from Rhapsody of reality to Rhapsody of confusion. Uh, you see, why not maintain your lane? Are you getting this, sir? It's just like, we are not satisfied with what God has given to you. Let any man come and tell me, and convince me, beyond reasonable and reasonable doubt, that you are not a minister of God. Daddy, you are more anointed than so many of them. Because hmm. what Thank you are God, doing, sir. I'm telling you, is a dispensation. Thank God, sir. Trying to reveal and put in light, trying to destroy ignorance. Yes, sir. And ensure that whatever that's a perceived ignorance or wickedness, you expose it. Yes, sir. Mm. Try to fight injustice. Mm. You are now, you are going to ah, but we got the better, we pay a lot of And you do sit down, and you get out of the new, after the only follower. And that is all. And when position, when you miss position, you miss focus. Mm. That was what killed John the Baptist. When you go to where God has not sent you. When he was in the bush, the Bible says all Judea, all Samaria were going there. Kilo no lost in the oba. All the bell here. It is very easy for us to lose focus. And once you lose focus, anything can happen. So actually, in fairness, many of them had their new calling. Mm. Initially. Initially. But they lost focus, pressure. Too much in a hurry to meet up, yes, to meet up. My side, can you say to play a side for your ball? So, I'm going to allow you. Well, and sir, imagine an oil kilometer every 31st of January crossover collects 1000 to even up to at night has even increased it now. People that want to sit in the front row, they have to pay maybe 10,000 who want to be close to Papa. See, Papa directly can pay 20,000 to 25,000, then they pay different, different sum up to back room, but from the gate fees, one, one thousand. I mean, what, what have you not seen? See, be a friend of mine told uh, a pastor to a friend of mine, Damsa, that should tell another pastor that should come and pay what was the was he no, they, they have a time for it that should count the number of the former girlfriends and come and pay was it tight. <laughs> <laughs> Five thousand. Yeah, he said the pastor should come for deliverance and should count the number of the former girlfriends that he has slept with, has slept with and bring five five thousand over them. They want to remove mm. the problem of those girls. Five, five, you see, thousand. when I see some nonsense at, uh, on display okay. on deliverance, okay. if there's one thing we are afraid to understand in the church is deliverance. Sir, what is deliverance? What's the meaning of deliverance? I've been mean, asking people. You carry somebody up. Smashing on the chair and calling deliverance. That's what are you that, delivering? That that's what that's are that's you that's delivering that's the person from? Even, because there's even the difference between deliverance and freedom. Oh, there's also different. Deliverance is only external, sir. Freedom is internal. And the Bible makes us to believe that there's something you should be very careful in doing is deliverance. Because even when you succeed in driving one spirit out, and that house is still empty, he will go and recruit. Forces and, um, and power that are seven times more powerful than the, the previous one. Mm. And the life of that person will be worse than the former. Mm. So if you even have the, the spiritual capacity to drive out the spirit, then you must not leave that house empty. Because that spirit will still come. Mm. And it's going to be worse. If the Holy Spirit is not occupying the space. Go. And beyond that, sir, that you are delivered externally does not mean you are free. Freedom 
is internal. Because the Bible says that transformation can only come through the renewal of the heart. Mm. That you are delivered from the hands of Oso Age, I'm telling you, it, it, logo, it is very elementary. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. The real deliverer you need deliver of the heart. It was God Himself, through mercy, that delivered the Israelites from the hands of Pharaoh. But all of them sit down the way. Mm. Because the heart was not free. Okay. And when the heart of man is not free and still stagnated, that's why they were still seeing cucumber and carrot. Because mm. they left Egypt physically, but the heart was still there. I understand, sir. I told somebody recently, I said, You can marry a wife. Physically, it will be in your house, but the heart can still be with the boyfriend. You don't have a wife. Most of the people you see in those churches, physically, they are standing. Who among you want to give your life to Christ? Oh, you better know, sir. Physically, you are seeing them, and they say, I've given my life. The heart is still tied somewhere. Mm. And they don't have a, 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 a soul moisturizing scripture that can actually penetrate the heart of men where the real man is. There are all these flimsy. All this, uh, all this artificial uh, uh, preaching that will make them yo-yo happy. Yes, sir. And at the end of the day, their life is washed off. Because externally, also I can get it long, but mm. your real enemy is in your heart. Your body. Your real enemy inside of you. The I'm getting it, sir. Yes, sir. The real enemy. It's inside of you. Mm. Mm. Oh, God. So it is not about the congregation. Maybe you have 1 million, 10 million. Yes, sir. They are with you physically, but their hearts are somewhere. Okay. So what they call deliverance is just, is just stupidity. It's the stupidity. Okay, since they have been falling, talking so much here, what has changed in them? That's why the Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence. That's where the deliverance is. Hmm. It's not in smashing somebody against the chair. The real deliverance is in the heart. Transformation come through the union of the heart. Mm. And the Bible says, guard your heart with all the name, because out of it come the issues of life. Mm. Guard your heart. So what they call deliverance, I went somewhere one day, and the man was just pushing my head. You, you, you understand? Try to talk. I, I, I was pissed off. Can you imagine? Is that... And they did try to even use his leg to even... And you know, some of them will definitely, they will guide their stand, they will put their leg like this, so they can fall. What mean? Why are we disfigured ourselves? So you wanted to... Did he, is it that you didn't want to fall or you were making his miracle not to work, sir? Because normally, you should have just fell down so that you will feel so happy. <laughs> you see, those are just nonsense, sir. Can you imagine? Drama of the assault. <laughs> I'm telling you, Fuji House of Commotion. In the church, in the church of God, for Jesus Christ. I mean, it, it's so, it, it's so, it, 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 it's so terrible. Trying to make you fall. Yeah, down. you're by force. So, to, to fall now by force? No, sir. Huh? <laughs> Just like uh, one uh, one joke somebody told me that one of our friends just mentioned his name went to worry, and he just he, he pushed the guy. The guy is no for. He say, oh guy. You say, can, can I know for man, are you? What? <laughs> Why not do that? You say, ah, you push my man, no for a breeze. You know? It, <laughs> <laughs> so it has become, it it's has tradition. become Fuji house of commotion. You understand? The people you are trying to deceive, it's even those who are outside that even know the secret inside the church. Unfortunately, the captive who are there, they don't even know what is happening. Hi. Because the hearts have been taken away. Hmm. Hmm. If, if you, uh, I wanted to read something for you in okay. Jeremiah, and I, I think that's what is happening to a lot of them. Oh. I, I think it's in the book of Jeremiah 5. You know, Jeremiah 5, you know, from, I think it's from verse, verse 26, oh. you know, to, is it 31? There's something there I wanted to read out, and uh, yeah. I think it's something that interests me. He said, he said, among my people are the mm. wicked who lie in wait, mm. like men who snare birds, mm. and like those who set traps, 
to catch people mm. like cage full of birds mm. the houses are full of deceit mm. they have become rich and powerful mm. and have grown fat and slick mm. their evil deeds have no limits mm. they do not seek justice mm. they do not promote the cause of the fatherless mm. they do not defend the just cause of the poor mm. should i not punish them for mm. this mm. neglect the lord mm. should i not avenge myself on such a nation as this mm. a horrible and shocking thing has happened in the land mm. the prophet prophesies lies the priests ruled by their own authority mm. and my and my people love it this way mm. but what will you do in the end mm. when you look at people like Suleiman jumping from Atlanta with fake miracle alerts mm. to South Africa with fake eye-opening miracle this same man who said that uh, one of his members entered the toilets in Germany and by the time he free religion, he opened and landed in France. Ha. Now people in Ukraine are begging that they want to cross the border mm. during this, mm. this crisis mm. by, 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 by Putin, by Vladimir Putin. Mm. People, Nigeria people in the bunkers are saying, sir, daddy, can't you just do it that we enter into a toilet and we find ourselves in Nigeria? Mm. Where is this miracle now? Mm. Now, you, you look see? at all this... Thing that Jeremiah 5 from verse you, you know, even it's even good we brought this out. Okay, sir. All these things that have been said here, yes, I did not been said ag against men of God. Yes, sir. And it is in the Bible. Yes, sir. It's in the and Bible. People want to plead with you. Yes, sir. I want to lobby you. Yes, sir. Then when you see evil, please try and, and keep close them out. Yes, that's what they are doing. I you that, uh, that they're coming that to their businesses are too big. And coming to uh, let me tell you, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know by the grace of God, with what you are doing, mm -hmm. and you encouraging others? Yes, sir. Together, we are going to minimize, if not totally eradicate all this nonsense in the church. Amen, sir. Now God will use foolish things to confound the wise. Mm. Are, are you getting yes, sir. it? That's the reason why God is raising people like you. Mm. After I say we are the light of the world. Yes, sir. What is the light of every work of light? Even it's to it's to illuminate. Or spooks, yes, yes, it's the corner. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Even they themselves, they are aware that very soon water might try this level. Yes, sir. That but with time, you will see people who come, partner with someone like you. And they're going to be like a civil, civil liberty. To some of these guys, even when they are captives in the church, if you to talk, we will go and sue the pastors for yes. a decent assault. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you getting this, sir? Yes, sir. We will sue them. Yes, sir. Some of these people, even before they, we will we, we, we outline the atrocities and take them to court. Mm. One guy was telling me a few days ago, no, a few months ago, I touched on my anointed. I said, okay, let them commit murder. Whether well, police will not arrest them. Mm. He will tell police, he's an anointed man of God, will please let him commit murder. Can you imagine? I get it. The police should not arrest him. So, you have, you, many of you, you are part of a process. And you are stretching the value. Mm. Very soon, you will see many of them, they will go to jail. Amen. I'm telling you, sir. Amen. Including, we, including so we enlighten people to the extent that it will man. be difficult for you now to begin to harass them, to begin to cheat them. You carry a married woman in the name of deliverance, and you are you are putting mouth to mouth peace. Oh, ah, oh, you know some of these things. We were lighting the people to the extent that we are we empowered them back. And they will and, know their rights. And they will regain back their capacity for self-determination. Hmm. I think that's a very powerful one. Their capacity for self-determination. Yes, yes, sir. And they will no longer be afraid. Because they have invoked fear into them. My, my, my fear, my anger, sir, with total honor is that even somebody like Dick Ulukoya spending thousands of naira just to shut a blogger down because the blogger is coming out with a lot of revelation about the church. You, you, you sued her in America, you sued her in Australia, you sued her in London. You even went to the extent of getting a judgment in Ogun State mm. without properly serving her in London. Mm. And the judge gave you 500 million naira judgment mm. against a person they've not been properly able to serve. There was no, there was no um, room for defense from that person. Because you said the person is defaming you. When there are people coming out to say, oh, this thing happened to us when you were in church. Oh, there was corridor deliverance. People's uh, pints were removed. People's pussy were shown. There are a lot of things. So, so, even the wife of a man in the apostolic church, a great man, I've forgotten his name, Reverend Soinka, 
the children came out. Two of the children came out and said, you harness their mother's heart. That the property their father left behind, their mother cannot take decision on that property except they go through you. And that before their father died, their mother had problem with their father. You are the one that housed their mother against reconciling with their father. There are a lot of terrible, dirty things in public domain about you. And this time for you to come and say, okay, how do we go about it? The Bible, I think in the book of 1 Corinthians 6, 1 to 20, okay, let me start here. He said, when one of you has a grievance against another, does he dare to go to law before the unrighteous instead of the saints? Or do you know that the saints will judge the world? Or, or no, do you not know that the saints will judge the world? And if the world is to be judged by you, are you incompetent to try, to, to try tribal cases? Do you know that we are to judge angels? How much more then? matters pertaining to this life. So if you have such cases, why do you lay them before those who have no standing in the church? I say this to your shame. I say this to your shame. Can it be that there is no one among you wise enough to settle a dispute between the brothers? That's First Corinthians 6 from verse 1 to 20. And uh, you know, there's another one. He said, for he is God's servant for your good. Okay, this one said, Beloved, never avenge yourself, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. That is Romans 12 19. Yes. But you see someone like Ulukoya, someone like Suleiman, and the only person among them that is so decent, despite the criticism all over the world, is Papa Iadeboe. But you see, criminally behave people like Johnson Suleiman and the sleeky character called the Dike Olukoya spending so much money on courts even writing people even people that wrote something on Facebook they told lawyers to write to them no. looking for their house sneaking out for them to use police use police to arrest people trying to guard revelations about their inadequacy and you ask yourself are these people that are taking thousands of people to heaven no it's not possible sir you see for emphasis, there's no journalist that is not supposed to go to heaven. Because we have seen a lot. You see, we, we, we meet these people on a daily basis. And we know their disposition. We know the stuff they are made of. There's nothing sir, that a Nigerian pastor can do that will surprise me again. Mm. We have seen them, daddy. We have seen. Okay. You understand? Yes, sir. And these things are so absorbed to the extent that none of their members will believe you. They will just say, I'm maybe a prophet by Are you getting it? You see, when somebody, sir, I told you about the definition of the Bible. Whenever you, you do a thing that is contrary to what the Bible spells out, and you know there's no degree in sin, you are even worse than an adulterer. Hmm. But the Bible says sin is sin. Yes, sir. You that is abusing prostitute. You that is condemning arm robber. But you are taking somebody to court and you're a pastor. Then you are the same. Mm. The same law, love my judge. There's no difference. You understand? Yes, sir. We condemn sins that uh, that not common to us. Sin is when you disobey God's doctrine. Whatever God says and disobey you are a sinner. Jesus said, if they slap the right, yes, sir. give them the left. Yes, sir. Not that it's physical, but just to, re it, to it redeem us. the level of, of the tolerance. Tolerance. Are you getting it, sir? Hmm. What did they not do to Paul? Most times they would beat him and mistake him for them. At did they? He never went to, he never said he was a lawyer. He's a lawyer. He never went to court. Maybe Volukoya was in the position of Paul. He would have been know. seeing I everybody know. in Judea up to Jerusalem. So that's what we are seeing. You see the conduct and the situation of your so-called man of God, and it's not in tune with what God says, and you are still there. What are you doing there? And you, you, you don't have the, 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 the liver to actually say, Papa, this thing you are doing is not right. Too. Paul, you say he never. He was not a, a direct disciple of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. But when he said, when I saw Peter, I confronted him to his face. I said, you're a hypocrite. Mm. Girl. Can you try that in Nigeria today? Hey. 
the, the security guard might start beating you from there. In fact, he will lick him, he will slap you the eh? PA, the PA song. Why not be my father kill himself? I won't go and do that. Mm. He said, when I saw Peter, Peter that walked physically with Jesus Christ. I said, you are a hypocrite. But you can't do that now. You can't even say, ah, Papa, you are not, why will you have access to talk to him? Even when you if you go to church, you want to talk. The other day, a man went to the altar. We didn't know if the man is even dead now. They dragged, the man was trying to drag him off to the altar. They beat the man as if they were beating rats. That, that is the problem. You can't even see him. That is the problem. Even if you want to seek appointment with him, when you are not done, go to your Jimmy Ibrahim. You can't see him. So, honestly speaking, you see, very, very soon, sir, hmm. the irrelevance of the church will be so obvious and be so pronounced. And uh, I know that God will have, uh, you know that you have, God has an eternity. Hmm. This is not the kind of church that God is talking about. And thank God, Jesus Christ is not surprised. We have said it. That if I come back, will I even meet faith? Sir, I said that with all sense of responsibility. This is not that's the kind look, of church. Look, that's look 18, 18. This is not the kind of church that God, God is, he, he has put in place. Hmm. That's not, sir. It's a different thing entirely. It's a different thing entirely. Yeah, it's a different thing entirely. It's just that uh, a, a product is becoming even dangerous to its manufacturer. The church is even becoming dangerous to the kingdom of God. Mm. Because when you are talking of Antichrist, Antichrist is not somebody that will come with her, no. It's somebody even, 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 even dispensing a wrong idea. Mm. You understand? Most of these people you are seeing around, I'm telling you, they can never be another. If Antichrist has not come, mm. I'm telling you, then we're in trouble. There can never be a better Antichrist than they are. Than they are. If the truth be told. Hmm. Be, be, before we round up, you can yeah. see a lot of things happening in the church. I, I want to just read something to you in this before I ask the other question I want to ask. From page from page 601, atrocities, you will see. At, okay, when you look at from page 602, in the same book, you see. PFN church, pastor, 40 divides 10 month old girl in church. Then you go to another place, pastor leaves 12 year old general overseer's daughter. Huh. You can imagine the pastor raping the 12 year old huh. daughter of general overseer in Pini City. Huh. I'm talking about the pastor Sagi Otabu. Huh. Yeah, now, okay, now. Now, pastor raped me countless time to cleanse my spirits. Huh. That's in Guardian again, huh. 2014. Then this one again, two pastors jail 10 years for unauthorized banking. Oh. That's first stars. Then again, pa police arrest a one year old pastor and wife for buying baby for 500,000 naira. Oh. Then general believe, okay, there are a lot of it in this book. Oh. Different, different, uh, nine million naira fraud, caught jail pastor Malam. Oh. Pastor and Malam connived to dupe oh. millions of naira. You see, pastor in the Deeper Life Bible Church, and Johnny Adani King, and Malam Maliu Aliu, had to spend the next one year in prison for defrauding local farmers in the middle of fertilizer. Police prosecutor Sergeant Suri Yomi Akimwale told the court yeah. that the accused committed the offense between May and June 2013 in Imure Kiti, Imure, local government area of Kiti State. Yeah. And the defense counsel, Adi Mola Okeya, pleaded with the court for leniency, but the magistrate, by the way, he rejected the plea. He described the defendant's action as callous. My way, he extended the duo to one year in prison without fine or option. Then the lot, if you see some of these things, you will just want to run away oh. from the church. Even CAC crisis, you try to receive status of accused persons in criminal charges. Oh. You know, a lot of, you know, crisis, oh. you know, uh, uh, money fear of uh, CAC crisis. Oh. Now you ask yourself, what is going on? I saw one at that time of adultery running down a church. Huh. I mean, one of the churches in adultery scandal. Huh. Uh -huh. I think it's here. Okay, adultery scandal rocks Methodist church. Huh. You know, that was the family of one reverend, Abayomi. Huh. Okay, so yeah, who slept with a member of the choir huh. in the church. Huh. So when you look at all these ones, huh. and you see them, even just a few months ago, they were looking for a girl in a kitty. Small girl of six years. By the time they Look for every nook and crannies. The next day, they found her inside the cooler of a pastor, a redeemed church pastor. Inside his house, they chopped the girl into pieces. Oh. Preparatory for some spiritual, whatever. Oh. Even in the redeemed church 
uh, where's their office in a uh, if they twice small guest miss no prayer a grandma took a child there. When they were there, did you have a draw? Before she opened her eyes, the girl, like, today they've not seen the girl. Oh. On two occasions, different family. Oh. Where do we put this one? Whereby you now have pastors that are using Olubong, oh. Afagbo, oh. Awaru, oh. Afaru, oh. and using every means to just acquire money because they want to drive cheap, oh. not to live in Palacia. But even some pastor, when you take them to go and pray on your land, they are ready to take the land yes, from sir. you. Um, no. uh, recently, there was a story of a uh, kidnap, mm. kidnapping. It was traced directly to the pastor, to the, the pastor. man that was kidnapped. Jesus Christ! Because he paid the tithe of five million, and man, so he now calculated. Where mm. over this five million, he means also a man was still in his van. Jesus Christ! You see, it's still. Let me tell you, sir. Mm. In a society that has lost its value system, everything will go wrong. It will go wrong mm. when a, a, a society can no longer be have a compass that is tied to a value system. Mm. I'm telling you. Yes, sir. Everything, even if you have the highest anointing, if you lack home training, as a yole. Ugao. You understand? Mm. Some of these things might look as casual, but they are fundamental. Many of these guys you see, genuinely, they might actually have a call or calling upon them. But because they don't have, you see, they don't have any attachment to a genuine value system. They lack home training. Mm. There's no proper parenting. Hmm. No proper parenting. Then that's it. That's you it. understand? Yes, sir. You see, sir, let's look at it. How many of them are more anointed than Samson? Samson lost it because he lacked moral. Not because he was not anointed. Are you getting it? Mm. You see, Odukokuru, greed, and all of that, those are things that can, that can, if you are not properly parented, and you don't have good value system, that you will lose it. Ugao. Hmm. That is why, let me tell you, sir, we must begin to see how there can be stability in the home. Hmm. Because even the deficiency of the home can be a burden to the church. The deficiency of the home? Yes, sir. It is not allowed anywhere that the church should take over the responsibility of the home. But there are three powerful institutions in society. And when they become dysfunctional and disjointed, there's no hope for that society. Ugao. Number one is the home. Hmm. Number two is the educational system. The philosophy and the content must be more focused and more centered. A for Apple will not take you far. Are you getting it, sir? Yes, sir. You must have a profound and very deep moral ethics. You know, you know how our mothers then, they were training us? Of course. We to just, the extent that that training will keep you and it build you very strong, absorbing spirit. I feel so. To the extent that no matter what happened, then it could possibly be Kinjali. Oh my God. Are, are you getting it? I mean, because the, the proper Yoruba will tell you even Iku Yabesi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you, are you getting it? There are some things. Even if you say, Kakaki, 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 Baju, Monjale, Ikuya, Jessin, Law, Daddy, Ejeka, Shomondu, Abi, O, Inyo, Ejeka, Shomondu, Abi, O, Inyo. Do you know, sir, that as yes, a farmer, I rear pig mm. and I also rear grass cutter? These two animals, if they sleep with the same family, there will be crisis. Can you imagine? Are you getting it? But do you know that even some personal sleep with their daughters? Oh, Jesus. Kai. Are, are, you, are you getting it? Sir? And whenever you surrender yourself to some very terrible spirits and they become the driver of your life, accident is inevitable. Hmm. Oh God. So some of these things, because the major three pillar of the society has collapsed. If you tell the pastor me, but since she gone, I'll be better. 
it brings back to parenting. Do you know that was where at the point David had to cry to God, no, this thing must not continue. But as a king, you see behave your mother. Imagine Koba Lodjoko, a king, peeping to see the nudity of a married woman. Bathsheba. Yes, son. David was anointed, but he has a problem from the foundation. He knew Kolombe, so he went on Kolo and right here. That's why he came out with Psalm 51. That you need to create in me a new heart. Mm. I get it? Mm. Because without your heart being transformed, while you are not is at risk. Oh God. Gift will not help you. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. So, either deliberately or whatever, mm -hmm. there should still be some kind of universally accepted school, not theology. Because leadership is not something that can just be put on you. It shows that some of these people, they lack home training, no proper parenting. Forget it. Anointing is not a substitute to, 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 to quality parenting. Anointing is just like a cream. You understand that sanctify you and bring you out. But if you are stinking from your foundation, then you can't build anything on it. Hmm. Lack of proper parenting. Lack of proper parenting. Yes, sir. No home training. Hey. Ah? I've seen an affair, an affair in Quara. It's into all of these halves. But the affair does not even touch a woman like this. You are wearing your queen. Hmm. But a pastor will carry another person's wife and put on your... What nonsense? That is... That's it. You don't understand. They even carry the wife to hotels. For special it, 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 means. You, 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 you understand? Inside the hotel. We no. caught a lot of them at excellence hotel. Do you, do hotel. you know, sir? When I got to uni, George. Yes, sir. I spent about five years. I could not go to a party one day. Hmm. Because of the way I was brought up. Yes. The kind of home training. Y yes, sir. The, it's, the, difficult. Discipline. it's difficult for anybody to see me and obey the million one note to Or you go and do tattoo or dye your hair. No, it's not possible. I will still be thinking that my mother is still there. Yes. And, and she died 22 years ago. Parenting is very important, sir. I agree with you. If you like, go to Harvard University. Go to Susa University. If you don't have home training, I yole, there will be something to show. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's not a substitute. If they like, let them put 30 something bottle of, of anointing, anointing upon your life. If you don't have home training, sir, the deficiency will be wide. Mm. The vacuum will be wide. And you cannot fill it with anything apart from proper parenting. You don't know what God too said. He said, I know Abraham will teach his children, so I will not hide anything from him. Mm -hmm. Sir, proper parenting is very important. Ugao. Proper parenting. Proper parenting. As graceful as Jacob was, also need proper parenting. You could see so. Because although Benin, uh, Jacob had a in teaching, it was the father that was training Esau. You could see how dubious and how cunning he, he, he was. Yes, sir. But even when Esau and Jacob encountered themselves, that is each other, manifested. Yes, sir. Esau had forgotten all those things. Jacob was naturally greedy, hot tempered. But Esau, I'm telling you, when he was still trying to bribe Esau, people say, No, I have enough. Which pastor can say he has enough? Never. Not special with people, not. Uh, I get it. Not, not uh, any training other. is very important. That's why even God at times will allow you to go through some Rubicon, to go through some things and preparing you for what He has prepared for you. Mm. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Yes, Home sir. training, sir. Mm. Father, this, this this is fundamental. This it's is not is anointing. It's not a substitute to home training and proper parenting. Oh God. I've never looked at this way before, sir. Honestly. No, I'll never I've never looked at it this way. I was in primary school. No, I did primary school in 1976. When my mother, my mother, late mother taught me, I go far long, okay. If I call me, she need para. Banu so ma bini yonso. Did you load up and borrow a jet for to look at the jet? In your book, 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 there are some things I won't do. You, you understand? Because you it, it, it see, the, the thing has been imputed into my consciousness. So there are some things I won't do. It's not possible now. That's not fair for you. see what is happening. The church has failed. The school has failed. And the, we, have, we don't have uh, absentee parents.
Many of them. So that is the when you when you add that together, what you have is ritualist, bandits, and all of that. Mm. Can you match? Mm. Mm. Anyway, let me ask you before we round up. This okay. question is important. Uh, the last time you came in, TV Joe's show was under close. Yes, sir. And uh, but before you traveled and uh, we were anticipating that the wife was going to open the church, then suddenly December 5 came, I think it was a Sunday, 2021, oh. and the wife opened the church, only for us to see videos where this woman was doing miracle. People sitting on the chair, they said they've stood up, they've gotten their miracle, people shaking, people jacking and all that. And I was like, did the husband transfer some spirit to her when he was alive? Then the man that everybody was thinking is going to... Uh, Take over that is wise man Rassin. We just learned that he married one of the prophetess now, a female who involved prophetess, and uh, a lot of things going on, sir. Sir, with the taking over of the church by Evelyn Joshua, do you see prospect for that ministry again? You've been a close friend of her late husband and somebody who saw the inner workings of that ministry. I mean, squad, sir. You see, I will look at this in two phases the general and the specifics.